KTM family, we're back. Yes, we are. It's been a, a couple days for sure. Um, got a couple updates to review, uh, specifically on the uh, 390. Uh, finally got the Nelson Rig Hurricane tank bag in the mail and just mounted that up. So we'll take a look at that. And I don't know after that. So let's do it. This is the uh, 2020 version of the KTM 390 Adventure. Uh, and as you can see, we've been keeping busy with the updates. But today's video is uh, specifically on the Nelson Rig Hurricane Tail Bag. This is the uh, 30 liter bag. And uh, as you can see in the distance over here, we mounted this up on my 2023 890 Adventure S as well. So yes, we've got matching bikes for the father-son duo. They're coming together pretty well. Anyway, uh, the 2020 KTM 390 we bought used had uh, like 1,100 miles on it and the previous owner had installed these uh, KTM side bag mounts. Uh, I like this mount because it doesn't stick out really far uh, and it looks really clean from the back end. So this mount actually provided very ideal mounting locations for the straps that come with this bag. So uh, the Hurricane tail bags come with four straps they're just, uh, you know, a loop on itself and then up wherever you want to go. So it gives you all kinds of options uh, for quality straps, too. As I mentioned in my last video, these buckles are steel. The hooks are really robust. They don't go anywhere. So uh, we stuff, stuffed a couple towels in this bag just to see what it looked like. Uh, I would say it's, I don't know, maybe it's half full. It's got like four towels in it rolled up. Uh, same as mine, just got some towels in there just to give it some shape while we were test fitting these. Uh, yeah, so it's on there really good. Like I'm shaking the whole bike and this thing doesn't move. So fantastic fit for the 390 Adventure, the Hurricane 30 liter bag. And you uh, might have noticed that we also, uh, we grabbed some fuel bottles. I, uh, I Honestly, I didn't realize at first that this was a water bottle slash fuel bottle holder. And I thought, man, that's that's really a fantastic idea. And uh, I never even thought about the uh, the option of carrying, I think these are uh, 30 ounce bottles of extra fuel. So if you're out on the trail or just away uh, from civilization, you've got maybe, I don't know, probably 20 miles worth of uh, fuel in this bottle that could uh, save your ass from walking. So uh, kudos to that good idea. Nelson Rig and whoever else dreamt it up. Like it, like it a lot. Uh, the other things that are still on the way, still waiting on a portion of the mount here for the uh, quad lock on each bike, the part that is universal that you can mount on your phone. And same on my bike, but I've also ordered the uh, KTM power part for the uh, GPS mount. And I've got, I'll just show it to you since it's on the desk over here. I picked up uh, the Ram Quick Grip cell phone mount. Um, it has a one inch ball on the back and I got their really short ball receiver. I don't know exactly what it's called. But anyway, the uh, the intent for this is to mount it here, like so, uh, and use this part, which is a uh, a one inch ball adapter plate. So you can mount that up to the uh, the KTM part. And uh, what my what my plan is is to use a uh, aftermarket, and I've already received it. Uh, cell phone, um, gonna probably keep it offline, and I've already loaded like the entire East Coast Google Maps on it, so I'll have offline maps available all the time. 
now that I'm staring at it, I forgot that I made this really big move here. So uh, I covered this up with electrical tape, but you can kind of see the indentation here, right? There's three holes here, one, two, and three in the front. And uh, when I bought the bike, it came from the dealer mounted in the cent center hole and this cradle right here, the lower part that the uh, bar mounts to, uh, that cradle can be flipped over so it can face rear or face forward. So this bar has six mounting options or six position adjustment, we'll call it. So uh, I went from middle rear to forward forward and holy cow, what a difference that has made in my comfort and uh, how the bike feels when I stand up. So if you've got a KTM 890, I highly suggest you take a look at your options for adjusting the, the handlebars, not only you know rotating the bars, but moving them forward uh, or back to suit your, your needs. That's about it for today. I'm signing off, so peace, KTM family.